back with another Play by Sephora unboxing video. I got my box a couple days ago. Um, this is my October 2018 box and I've been kind of busy. Um, haven't gotten around to opening my box yet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on camera and we'll see what Sephora sent me this month. Um, I don't know what the theme is this month. Um, my guess is that it's probably something kind of cozy sort of vibe like you know the weather is cooling down it's like time for sweaters and pumpkin spice everything which I'm not gonna lie I love that stuff um, so oh look at this little pumpkin it's so cute I am such a sucker for little pumpkins and look at the little ghost she's so cute um, <laughs> that's, this is awesome scary good beauty is the theme this is like totally my kind of jam and look, oh, last minute looks for Halloween. That's adorable. Not so grumpy cat, fresh faced finale. What does that mean? Oh, oh my God. Jigsaw. Actually, that's not Jigsaw, that's Billy from the Saw movies. Masked villain, oh, that's creepy, okay. <laughs> anyway, so. As you can tell, I'm very excited about this theme because I'm, I'm, I'm into all things horror and fall. Um, okay, so let's see what samples they sent me this month. Let's, what sort of things Sephora deems to be scary good. Oh, they sent like this little plastic Ziploc packaging again. I still have mine from last month. I kept that one. I'm probably not, if they continue sending these plastic ones, I'll probably throw them, throw them in the recycling bin. I don't see the need to like, collect a ton of these because I have so many bags already. Um, oh, cool. The first sample is Urban Decay All Night, uh, All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I've tried a couple setting sprays before. One of them actually was Urban Decay. It was like, I think the, whatever their original setting spray was, I got that in some kind of like little gift set thing. Um, and I used that up and it seemed to work pretty well. Um, I haven't tried this one. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, this says it's Urban Decay by Scandinavia. I actually don't know what that means. Um, oh, this is interesting. I didn't know this. This says to, after applying makeup, to mist in an X and a T formation. I've never, I just, when I spritz, I just kind of go like this a few times. Um, X and T formation. Okay, I'll try that next time. I'll try that with this setting spray. I can't get this thing out. That's what she said. Um, but it comes in a cute little package, purple and black, very my kind of colors. Also very appropriate for fall. Um, the second sample is Benefit Give Me, uh, Give Me Brow. Um, I've actually gotten a sample of this before. I think it was in Sephora Play. Um, it might have been a birch box, but I'm pretty sure it was Sephora Play. Um, so that's always kind of annoying when, when I get like a, a duplicate sample. Although I did like this product. This was actually kind of the first um, brow product other than just clear gel that I started using on my eyebrows and I actually did really like it. So it'll be nice to have a little sample of this. Um, let's see what shade they sent me. They sent me shade number three, which I'm pretty sure is the one I had before. Um, oh, it comes in like a little, pla I mean, I think the other one I got was plastic before, but this one's just sort of like a, a matte gray. Um, and the one I had before was like a, a silver. So I guess they changed their sample packaging. The next sample in this very loud bag is Caudalie Vino Perfect radiance serum yes this is very much up my alley um let's see i guess i'm all about trying to get that radiant look um let's see what it says in here um it's an oil-free radiance boosting serum that visibly evens skin tone um i've tried a couple samples of from caudalie before um and i've thought they've just been kind of okay i haven't been blown away by them um but I do hear people talk about the brand a lot and they, they seem to really like it. Um, this is actually a pretty decent sized sample too. I feel like the samples I've gotten from this brand in the past have just been like little tiny tubes. Um, and this, this feels a little more substantial. Um, let me give this a little sniff. It smells good. It actually, um, 
kind of reminds me of like what like skincare products smelled like when I was in like high school. I maybe like Clinique or something. It's I don't know. I'm getting sort of like a vintage skincare sort of smell vibe, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's like not too perfumey or anything like that. Um, looks like you're supposed to apply this morning and evening. Um, I'm not going to use this for a while, probably, because um, I'm currently using, uh, I'm doing like a pretty standard skincare routine because I'm doing a skincare experiment with a couple different um, dark spot lightening products. Um, and I don't necessarily want to add another um, product into that while I'm doing my experiment. So I, I want to kind of control for, um, uh, for the two products that I'm using and I want to be kind of scientific about it. So I'm going to hang on to this and wait and try that later on after I've tested and seen if those products are working. Next one is a perfume sample and it's Kat Von D. This is definitely going in the trash. Um, you know, I hate perfume samples to start with and Honestly, I am one of those people who is no longer buying Kat Von D since she came out as an anti-vaxxer. So, no thank you. Um, next is... This is another duplicate. I actually really liked it. Um, this is First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. Actually, you know what? I take it back. This is not a duplicate. I've received something that looks exactly the same, like the tube looks exactly the same, but it was a slightly different product. This is um, uh, Hello Fab Coconut Water Cream. Did I just say that? I think I just said that. I don't even know. Um, it's an oil-free, lightweight moisturizer that replenishes skin with coconut water. Um, the one that I've tried before was a moisturizer, but it was like a luminizing moisturizer, and it was like sort of a pale, peachy pink, um, like a little bit pearlescent. I actually really liked it. It didn't always play well with other products. It sometimes pilled under makeup or like with other skincare products. So that wasn't great, but using it on its own, I, I love, ow, <laughs> I'm such a spaz. Um, but using it on its own, I, I, I really liked the, um, the radiant look that it gave my skin. So I'll be interested to try this plain one. I'm curious if this will actually layer okay with other products. It smells really good. It smells like coconut. It smells just like the other cream that I tried. Again, um, I don't know if I, well, you know what? I probably will incorporate this into my routine because I'm almost finished with the Clinique Jelly Moisturizer sample that I got last month. Um, I've been using that one in the morning as part of my routine. So once I finish that up, I can just start using this in the morning and see how that goes. Um, my skin is pretty dry right now. The temperature has cooled off some it's not even that cold yet and i can definitely tell a difference in my skin like i i don't know if you can see this but like this like my knuckle is like cracked and like ble like almost bleeding already and it's like the middle of october so i need moisture and i do drink a lot of water so it's not that my final sample this month is anastasia beverly hills stick foundation in banana Interesting. Uh, it's a pale yellow light to full coverage foundation stick with a demi matte finish. I thought this was a lipstick when I pulled it out, but then it looked like a full size. So that's, this seems like a lot of packaging for that much product. Am I crazy? Um, this actually doesn't look as yellow as I thought it would be, like just from the name, <laughs> banana. Um, it looks like it might be a little yellow on me, um, but I'll, I'll definitely try it. I haven't been all that impressed with a couple of Anastasia Beverly Hills products that I've tried. Um, I got that clear brow gel, um, sample in my Sephora play a couple months ago, and I actually really didn't like it. It was like stiff and kind of crusty, um. I was not a fan and then I had bought the Norvina palette when it came out and um, I loved the colors they were so pretty 
but there was so much fallout and my eye my right eye got really irritated after using it and I think it was like from the glitter fallout and I actually returned it and I don't return products all that much because I feel bad doing that and I had used it a few times I, I wanted to keep trying it to see if it would actually not irritate my eyes but it kept irritating my eyes so I sent that back anyway um I will try this um this one let's see I'm not a huge foundation wearer to begin with I like right now I'm wearing actually um, a First Aid Beauty Skin Tint because um, I like light sheer coverage. Um, this one said, oh yeah, this one actually says light to full coverage. So I guess it's like a buildable thing. So you just put like one layer and it's light and then if you put like five layers, it's full coverage. I don't know. I would never put five layers of foundation on my face. Just, that's just me. Um, this says that, uh, it, the application stick is ideal for highlighting, contouring, and touching up. I don't, I don't know if they mean just like the stick form in general, but like, I, I mean, this is not a shade that you would use for highlighting or contouring, so I don't know what they're talking about. Um, I don't know how how well this color will work on my skin tone, but, but we'll see. Um, this, uh, this says that it's. Um, uh, to apply it directly to the skin from the stick and use a damp beauty blend beauty sponge or stippling brush so um so i have i have a beauty blender and i also have a foundation brush so maybe i'll try using it with both different application methods and see i i tend to get kind of lazy when i do put foundation or even like a skin tint on like i'll just i'll use my fingers and then like maybe i'll use a brush to kind of smooth out the like you know how you get kind of like fingerprint lines on your face if you're not like using a brush or whatever i i use a brush to smooth that out Beauty Blender looks really good, but it's like, it's a process because then you, you take it out and you have to wet it. And then I'm really anal, so I wash it after every use. Um, so it's just like extra steps that I don't always feel like going through. Um, anyway, I am totally rambling. Um, I, I think this is a pretty good box this month. Um, I'm not super excited about the foundation stick, obviously. Perfume, eh, whatever. What perfume is this? Oh, this is actually the Saint and the Sinner, so there's two different perfumes in here. Whatever. Um, yeah, it's not for me. Um, the setting spray I'm excited to try. Um, I, I am looking forward to eventually trying this Caudalie Serum. Uh, Gimme Brow, it's nice to have an extra little sample, but you know, I this duplicates not that exciting um but this uh this coconut water cream sounds really nice um and hopefully that will be exactly what my skin is needing right now because I'm, I'm feeling a little bit crusty at the moment um that's not very cute uh anyway um i yeah this is a pretty good box i'm obviously gonna take pictures and write a blog post about all of these samples and just kind of for general first impressions and um I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. Um, please like and subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Thank you, and bye.